Hey guys, it's Alyssa and I want to talk to you today about traveling in cloth diapers. I just went on a trip with my family and three high schoolers and uh, we cloth diapered. I've been cloth diapering for over three years now. Right now I'm specifically only cloth diapering my six month old daughter and this trip was great. It was super easy. I didn't have any problems at all. Traveling with cloth diaper, I do kind of a hybrid. Um, if you are going to Airbnbs, you're going to your mom's house, you know you're gonna have access to a washing machine, you just bring it all with you and you go. Which sometimes is an extra bag, but honestly, if you were having traditional diapers, you'd be carrying big bags of Pampers or whatever anyways, so it's not that big of a difference. If you're used to washing them and dealing with them at home, it's usually not that big of a difference on the road. But for me, I don't like having to wash and dry and do the whole process when I'm on the road. So like I said, I do kind of a hybrid. I use a cover, which later on I use at night or it's a backup diaper or traveling or different things. It's just a cover. It doesn't have any absorbency on it at all. And then I buy disposable inserts. Now, the reason I do this versus just going for traditional diapers, first of all, my son was super, super sensitive to all the diapers and he always had rashes. Everything was awful with him. So I don't like going that chemically route anyways. I hate the way diapers smell when they get wet, the color-coded lines, all the chemicals in it. I'm just not a fan. Personally, if it works for you for traveling, just go for it. Great. But I like going this option because um, the two different brands that I use flip and then... Oh, the two different brands I use, Flip and then uh, Charlie Banana, they are both made of like cotton and wood pulp. And I think there is a little bit of fiber, but it's definitely way more biodegradable than a traditional diaper. And even these don't, most of them don't have the sticky peel on it. Um, side note, I tried the um, Pampers hybrid diaper system, hated those fill things, did not like them. So they are not on my list. I only go with Charlie Banana or the Flip brand inserts. Uh, I don't recommend the, um, I don't recommend the Pamper, Pampers brand hybrid. I'll put a picture here. I can't think of what it is. Um, they have this peel and stick things, which honestly were a nuisance. They stuck way too hard to the diaper. It was like hard to get it off and clean it. Uh, the sticky peel thing takes longer. It's less biodegradable. And I feel like the liner itself was a lot more chemically. I just didn't like it. So side tip, not into that. But for traveling, um, it's super easy. I just keep extra liners down in my uh, diaper bag or in the car, whatever I'm doing, and I flip those out. For me personally, I put two liners in there for double, ab double absorbency just in case, but it usually doesn't go through to the bottom liner. So most of the time I'm just taking that top liner out and replacing it and leaving that same bottom liner in there. Same thing with cloth diapers. If I have double liners, I can fold one and create more absorbency where I want it. Uh, I really like the customability, <laughs> customization, customability. I don't know, but I like being able to do that. And I use the same liner until it's dirty. Um, so this trip, we left on an early Wednesday morning. I put her in that liner Wednesday morning when we left. She wore it all day Wednesday. She didn't poop. She didn't have any crazy accidents. It didn't stink. So when I went to put her to bed Wednesday night, I used that same liner. Now over the night, there's much more uh, urine. <laughs> Woke up the next morning, Thursday, I changed her diaper, gave her bath, whatever. She had a new fresh cover and she wore that all day Thursday. And then the same thing, Friday, we gave her a fresh one in the morning, or she went to bed in that one Thursday night. And then Friday morning, we gave her a new fresh one. And then um, I think around Friday midday, she pooped and it was disgusting. I don't think I caught it on camera. I'll have to check, but I don't think I caught it, but it's, it's the same thing. You know what a poopy diaper looks like? <laughs> uh, and we just throw the liners away. And the cover, I either rinse out or I roll it up in a ball really tight. And right now, because she is breastfed, I can just throw all that in the washing machine anyway because it's water sol soluble. Water soluble? Why can't I talk right now? Soluble. Solu soluble? Anyways, 
Um, I just throw all of that in a wet bag. So the liner or the covers from each day, I'm throwing those in a wet bag as the trip goes on. Uh, the trickiest part about traveling with cloth diapers for me personally is timing the buildup because I don't wanna leave dirty, nasty diapers at home. I have to throw a whole load in, wash them, dry them before we leave. So I always personally try to time that out so that I have the perfect amount of time to like take a diaper off of her, wash them, dry them, and then go um, with all clean diapers at home. That way I'm not leaving anything. Usually they're hanging up drying. I'll leave like right as I hang them up to dry. But fun tip, <laughs> if you are uh, leaving them, so I actually on this trip, times out all perfectly. And then I found two diapers from daycare that were in a backpack that I didn't realize. And so obviously I didn't want to leave those two diapers. So my side tip, which you may find disgusting, but this is what works. If you're a little, if you're crunchy enough, then hey, if you don't have time to wash them or you find one like I did, I just stick them in the freezer because the freezing is going to stop any bacteria, anything from growing and progressing, no matter how long you're gone on your trip, just don't forget about it when you get back. So I found two um, one of them was a pee diaper and I just threw it in with a load of like towels or blankets that I had going, but I already, after I already had done all of my diapers, the second one I could tell was definitely a poop diaper and I didn't want to, I didn't have time to deal with that. So I went ahead and just put that in the freezer. This is how I travel with cloth diapers. Um, it's kind of a hybrid system. It's not fully clothed, but I don't have to do any laundry on the road. Um, I've definitely been on longer trips where I run out of covers. I wash those in the sink, in the shower. I've even just used like shampoo that I had or whatever, hang those up to dry and you can use them again the next day. I definitely recommend having at least three covers. That way you have the one that the baby is wearing, a backup one, and then one that could be washing or drying if you need. So you need at least three covers and then you need the inserts. I said earlier, I recommend, I prefer the Flip brand, but those are kind of hard to find now. I think those are the most um, earth friendly, but I do really like the Charlie Banana brand as well. They're climate neutral. Um, so they have all kinds of initiatives for more sustainability. And I do really like that. Um, so yeah, you just need to buy those. I realized the day before my trip that I didn't have enough. I ordered a pack of 34 on Amazon Prime. It got here the next day and then we left. So I, on Monday, I realized I didn't have enough diapers. Ordered them on Monday they got here on Tuesday and we left Wednesday morning. So they are accessible quickly if you have Amazon Prime. Um, I don't think that they carry them in any Target stores and they definitely don't carry the flip ones unless you live in like some great eco-friendly world where you have a cloth diaper store. And then, like I said, you need a wet bag to be able to throw the dirty liners in. And that's really it. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, you're not stuck with just the two options of lugging all of your cloth diaper equipment with you or buying the traditional disposables. Anyways, thanks for checking this video out. Um, let me know down below, where's your next trip? Where are you planning? We're going to New York soon. I'm very excited. I'll definitely be using this cloth diaper hybrid for that trip as well. Noah is not having it right now, so I'm gonna get her out, but please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't yet.